and the depth of the I'm, study. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a, I can't remember, I know that we are looking at the timeline, but I don't have a, I don't okay. have a start date. Maybe is yeah. the RFP out or not? It's no. not. Okay. okay, thank you. Because the Scientific Oversight Committee will help define that. Oh, okay. thank you. Thanks. Okay, I just, just want to caution you. We are on a tight schedule, so I need quick questions, please. <laughs> Put them out, and remember, we're not making, at least the way the motion is, we're not selecting anybody today, just for everybody to understand. We just want to understand the process and figure out how we're going to move forward. Okay, so, um, uh, Please, you know what? Julie. Go ahead, Julie. I know, I know. Thank you. I didn't know if you were. Um, I was at the scientific um, oversight. No, the, I, I was at the meeting of CSUN. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I was interested in being on the committee advisory, and I was asked to sign up there. So that's meaningless at this point. You have to online sign up then. That would have just been a sign up to get information when we have the, the form okay. available. Okay, and it will be the local advisory committees here that will, I don't mean advisory committees, the um, neighborhood councils that will then select, if you said there's 100 people applying, then they will do the selection. Okay. And lastly, yeah, that's it. Um, will there be any sharing of materials, information from the scientific oversight panel with the ad community advisory? Because that would make a lot of sense. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, so we're still trying to figure out what the mechanics for that will be. Maybe you know a, a liaison person who goes to both and, and helps update the CAG. Or, um, but but yes, definitely we want the CAG to have all of that information. Any other questions, <coughs> Andrew? Yeah. So two parts, I'm gonna dovetail on that one. My first question is, my view is the CAG has to be able to significantly influence or direct the SOC. So that, I wanna understand if that is not in place, then it needs to be discussed. The other, now shifting gears back to the overall nomination of the CAG, with respect, the broader sense of the neighborhood councils have no business selecting the community member, the other seats. They don't know who's been in the fight. The, you know, the, no disrespect to, to this board or any of the boards, but members of Granada Hills North have no idea what people in this community have been doing for three and a half years. So that needs to be different because what you want is a group of people who have been on the ground fighting this issue for years, not someone who just said, oh, that sounds interesting, I'll raise my hand. It's the only way you're going to get a, a good participation, you're going to get vibrant discussion, and it's the only way you have a chance of getting people to actually participate from the community. So if you can take that back, please. Sure. Thank I mean, you. yes. Yeah. Who else? Francis? Yeah. Um, Go ahead. Yeah, two questions. One, do you work for the County Department of Public Health? I do. Would you like to have your name in the minutes? Because right now I'm <laughs> 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 in black. 